Let's watch the Unreal Engine 5 tech demo just released today. Let's it, it has to deal with the lighting effects that the that it gives us. Let's check it out. Hello, I'm Brian Karras, Technical Director of Graphics here at Epic Games. Hi, I'm Jerome Plateau, Art Director of the Special Project. A few years ago, we got together as a team and brainstormed where we thought we could push forward the state of the art in real time graphics. There were two key areas that stood out. The first, dynamic global illumination, beautiful bounce lighting instantaneously. I don't have to be constrained to do a game where the world has to be static, and I'm able to iterate a lot faster. And we call this new system Lumen. And we're about to show you what it is capable of. But first, there was another area that we thought we could push forward truly virtualized geometry. The artist wouldn't have to be concerned over poly counts, draw calls, or memory. We could directly use film quality assets and bring them straight into the engine. And that's a big deal for artists. I just want to be able to import my ZBrush model, my photogrammetry scan, my CAD data. For artists, ZBrush is a program they use for, especially in the lighting uh, aspect of design. And uh, what he's saying is like, he, he wants to just go in and easily get what's inside his head out onto the digital canvas. And, and he's saying that this engine and the Lumen technology it, it, it possesses makes it easier for him in ZBrush, which is going to be huge in the, in the gaming industry. Without wasting any time optimizing, creating LODs, or even lowering the quality to make it hit frame rate. In the end, that's what it's all about. Art that just works. And we call this new technology Nanite. Here is the future of Unreal Engine running right, let's live check it on out. PlayStation 5. Come on, boys, show awesome. us. Let's take a look at it. This has to be the right way. Looking pretty good right there. Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we used the cinematic versions which would typically only be used in film. They are around a million triangles each, and thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. Okay, so it's basically taking a, a billion vertices or triangles, polygons, and, and each at each frame compressing them into 20 million, which is an amazing amount of data and uh, and GPU and CPU processing power. All right, so we're, we're talking some serious processing power. I'm not quite sure what game they're, they're showing here. This is, they're showing this on the PS5. I'm not sure what the title is, uh, but they're showing us the lighting that Unreal Engine 5 is capable of. Of course, in Star Citizen, uh, comparatively speaking, we have Star Engine, and we haven't had much in terms of li lifting up the hood and looking at it. We've had kind of generalized uh, concept of, of what Star Engine is capable of. Um, the lead designer, uh, in the lighting department, it knows his stuff. So I'm fairly confident that the lighting's going to be amazing, but I, you know, they're not going to just switch out and go like, Hey, we're going to take an unreal engine five and using that's just not the way that it's going to be. Uh, but I'm still very happy with star citizens lighting, but let's get back to what unreal engine five is capable of owners of the tech Epic games also owned by Tencent China. I sound like Trump right there, China. <laughs> What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. Hey, These hammer. are the triangles, each a different color. What's Most up, are mixer? So small that they look like noise. Welcome Nanite to the stream, guys. Hey, Chris. Down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the Chris. size of pixels. This amount of geometric detail <laughs> requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. <laughs> Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic. With the power of Lumen, that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without no GI, baking. That's impressive. That's really impressive. All of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. We've 
made some great additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sample. It's pretty fluid to me. We them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. Sounded pretty good. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. Look at the look at the shadowing. Fantastic. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. Wow. Did you guys see the locomotion right there? Wow, look at look how reactionary that water is. Simulations like you see in the water yeah. below. And this was running on a PS5. By the way, the new updated consoles, the whole industry is trying to compete with PCs. Consoles realize that PCs are going to be the death of them. So they're kind of seeing what the demand is and, and increasing the console price to see what that bar is. Eventually, the moms and dads are going to say, no, Timmy, you can't have the PS5. 70 because it costs twelve hundred dollars there will be a limit the ceiling <laughs> to what a console can be but the consoles coming out are, are really trying to compete with pcs i don't think they'll ever get their pc master race just saying but look at this water Woo! did you guys see that really did you see artifacts maybe i gotta zoom in my eyes aren't that good but I mean, the, the water is pretty reactioning. The demo I'm runs waiting for rivers. I'm waiting for rivers in, in Star Citizen. On our chaos physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. The, sh the shadowing's fantastic. Now that the environment is so what complex, game is this, we've chat? needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. That's promising. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, oh, okay, thanks, Fox. but also for its impact on gameplay. Just for the demo, gotcha. Nice Any touch. light source can move while it still having be. beautiful bounce lighting. They might want to consider making a game out of this. Dynamic illumination means specular kind of reminds well, me of a Tomb Raider. you can see on all the metal surfaces. Wow. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. I mean, I'm, I'm very impressed, really. <laughs> Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million trying. Hammer. Hold on. We're... Thank you, Hammer, for that financial support, bro. You're so unbelievable. <laughs> Short break here by Hammer. Thank you, Hammer. Appreciate you, dude. No baking of normal maps. No authored LODs. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Hell of a tech demo, really. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. Okay, like I just got goose chills, man. I, the, the bumps, the goosebumps everywhere. It's crazy. So with Nanite, you have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination, all running on a PlayStation 5.
Good point, Fox. Good point, dude. Make this a this game right now. And this doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. Yeah, like the in chat right now for people going to watch this in the future on YouTube, the chat's saying the FPS is low. I don't really think this is really meant for FPS. It's just to show the lighting effects. So, you know, this isn't even a game. This is just a tech demo they created to show the lighting. The portal is open. Need some vent. Don't fail me now. I don't care what you say right now, guys. Like, that's badass. That was pretty badass. <laughs> Welcome, Merlin. Thanks for the follow, bro. It's time to see what's next. So, you know, some of the things that I went over this morning when I was talking with um, Seer was essentially this this engine, you know, because people were saying, well, what do you think, DG, about this engine compared to, you know, uh, what what Star Citizen has? And like I said this morning, and you can catch a little bit of on the podcast, as I was saying, I was confident in Chris Campbell's abilities. He's the lead t uh, lighting designer over at Star Citizen. Um, and he knows this stuff when it comes to light design in the real, you know, like when it comes to light design in the real, this man knows what's up. And I'd rather have somebody who's involved with the real lighting in terms of design in the real world, focusing on this. Now, what the engine is capable of is a completely different issue. Um, but, and you know, like in the past, we haven't gotten a lot of information on star engine because frankly, the Crytek case shut it. You know, the, the last real deep dive in the lighting was in 2016, you know, and, and they've kind of have been mums, mums on, on the, on the actual tech behind star engine, uh, obviously because of what's going on. But now that the suits over with, for the most part, I think you'll start seeing that lighten up a little bit. So comparatively speaking, uh, you know, I can't really compare until I see it. Also, another thing is, is, you know, if you think about, the kind of over promise under deliver behind a lot of these companies. They always talk, talk up everything. We don't really know until we experience unreal engine five and this lumen tech. Uh, but one thing that I really got out of this, that I, that I love even more is the nanite tech that they talk about. And the nanite tech, uh, is responsible for rendering over a billion triangles down to 20 million every frames per second, which means less strain, um, on the on the draw calls which means uh basically the draw calls are uh the call to the graphics api to draw objects and it and it, that means lower strains on gpu that means lower uh, uh strain on the cpu for the rendering which means a better overall experience and uh i i like the fact that in this engine there are no light maps and no baking as well which is huge i mean you know if, if this is true and I take it verbatim, that will be huge for the gaming industry in terms of lighting. The light bounce changes instantly because of this. And uh, you can see it. You can see it. Um, I'm pretty sure right now this isn't the case. But in the last Inside Star Citizen review that we had, we got to see Chris Campbell's uh, uh, basically he was showing the, the day and night cycles of the sun shining down on those little spheres. If you guys remember, we talked about that last Thursday and it was to me looked hella good. So I don't know if we can really compare the two yet. I'm still waiting to see, but I really enjoyed that tech demo and I hope, I hope that 
you know, as the game evolves, they'll employ some of this. Star Engine's always evolving. This isn't static. You're going to see uh, changes in, in the engine itself as time moves on. And so, you know, in a game like Star Citizen, I know that Chris Roberts and the people behind Chris Roberts uh, that work at Cloud Imperium, his employees are going to try their best to keep up with the latest tech. It's just it's just part of what's going to end up happening. It really will. Somebody sent me this in Discord.